Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we old? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Ah! Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for <laughs> Gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. No, everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh no, Wash, let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Watch out, girls! <laughs> yeah. Watch and learn! Was a cub. Our idea of going for a walk was a 20 mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa, we hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great great grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
it look? It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean, an old boy. Well, <coughs> we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, nope. oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh! Kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Respectable thing. And go! want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! For whoever 
emerald you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know? Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. Stop dropping rolls! You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Whoa! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. But watch it. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Yes, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, oh, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret thanks to Sam Stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha <laughs> ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! no! A roll of toilet paper. No! no! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. 
the moment of truth. That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> Have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can't commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scuttlebutt. Before we... <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, ah, yeah! Eugenie! Susie! What's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener! It's too powerful! Here, girls. It's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Oh, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey, oh. get it over. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much. Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet. I'll do anything. Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that 
That ought to do it. You sure? <laughs> okay. Maybe you need a dry clean. That ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington. I can't feel my eyes. So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger. Super stronger. There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma. There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty. Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. There she is? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. <laughs> Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross! <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinera. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Tea House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Dog houses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. How? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex. For him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Ah! Uh, you heard the dog. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, 
honey. I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm gonna make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> oh, Wash. You have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? <laughs> Come on, boy. Aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple. That's my motto. Weird. I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought. But it's <laughs> just Vic. I heard something in that tree. Ha! Who is it? <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. I don't know. Look at your new home, boys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. Looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you genie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep. Nothing here. Just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Hi, you guys. Ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me. <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But, you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're going to be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> What are these? Mm. Whoa! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> ah! What are you doing back so soon? Mitch, it's Mitch. He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? Oh, I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington, what's the matter, boy? <laughs> You don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? 
supplies almost done. Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> more! And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. <laughs> 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 what are you dweebs up to here? Um, nothing. Let me see. Hmm? <gasps> oh, what are you? <laughs> so pretty. So soft. She's a house cat. She, um, doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's uh, done! Uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes! <laughs> Can't wait! Mmm, <sighs> it smells good! Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too! Okay, okay. Pie's on the way. <laughs> hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington. He's getting really mad. <laughs> I want dessert! Hello? My pie! Where did it go? Oh, no! Not the pie! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Pie! Is that you? I smell you, pie! And now that I love you, I'll be back! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Dip, dip. Also included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed. 
need to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the tug. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Washington. Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh -huh. Beware the Were Fox! Enjoy the Red Fox Moon, everyone. Were Fox? What does that even mean? Oh boy, let's have a Red Fox Moon Party! <laughs> Here comes the moon fire! Here comes the moon food! I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website! The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red... How moon tonight! Hope we don't see any werefoxes! <laughs> Werefox? Can someone please explain? Oh, yeah. You've never heard of a werefox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. <laughs> Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what timing. I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now, does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do yeah. you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! You gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling. <laughs> Little bit too salty. <sighs> huh? <laughs> Drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy scratching beast! No, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. Meow. And cool outfit, by the way. <laughs> you like to bark? You're gonna scream. <gasps> Spirit Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. Just look at yourself. You're a crazy twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time! Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Take sorry, it away Vic. From the Red Fox moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry Nine, again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, <laughs> Your cat because Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's werewolf time. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh. Red Wait, Washington, I was just. Put on your. Uh, -huh. uh oh, I forgot I'm a. Get back here, Werefox! You leave my pets alone! Is everyone okay? 
Arf, 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 arf. Good boy, Washington. You chased off that werefox, didn't you? And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a red fox moon party last night where a real life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV. <laughs> That's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. Are they saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wienerfest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh -huh. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yeah, it's oh. time. Are you two nuts or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pretzel sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. <gasps> burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV set! <laughs> Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got this. <laughs> Watchdog, you? You think you can protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. No one. Nobody in here. Nobody here either. Nobody here either. So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. Hmm? Susie, take the popcorn! <laughs> Nothing in here. <laughs> All clear. <laughs> Nothing. 
nothing unusual in here. <laughs> what? It was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. Did you say something? <sighs> nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a perimeter. <laughs> Easy, guys. Nobody's in there. Oh, I can't find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I... I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe, just maybe, the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house! If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec, this may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys, you never know. <laughs> may, may, maybe it's just a visitor. Or the living stones. Let's look through the mail slot. Yeah. And the owls have keys! Burglars? Cool! Go wash! Go! Save us! Yes! Risk everything! Um, actually, you see, I'm not really sure how to... Of course you know! Do like you learned on TV! I'll help you! Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do! But I don't know how to bark! You said so yourself! I take back everything I said. Please, Bark. Pretty please. Make those horrible burglars go away. Go, go away, Washington. Washington. Do, do it, please. <laughs> arf, 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 arf. Wolf, wolf, arf. I can bark, too. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're goners. They're going to steal our toys, kibble, and... TV! Brush, I want you to know you're the best watchdog we've ever met. Even oh. though we've never met another watchdog. <coughs> but he's not a watchdog. And for once in my life, I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you. Listen up. Here's what we're going to do. You guys are going to go my and I'm going to... I'm gonna try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. <gasps> yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. And do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay. Let's try the bathroom. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? not be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. No. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. Get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith? Well, 
Those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh! Who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdogs! Who's the greatest watchdog? This is not good. The burglars have brought back up! Yeah! That was some major tools to open the door! Left to do, Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. What? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too. I'm gonna take off my costume. <laughs> Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it. It's free. As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stills are back! Quick! Darlings! We're home! Good dog! Good dog! What a great watchdog you are, Washington! Unbelievable! I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. No! Beware of dog! I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late! Coming, dear! Taco Fest, here we come! Adios! Hey! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Silence. Now and then a fox needs a little solo time. Speed <laughs> up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat flap? Uh, well, technically. And why are there bird doors? Because generally people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me! Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, hey. Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> 
any old dog can make a hole. Wait till the living stones see this. What you kid? The marathon is starting. Let's kid. Be in soon, buddy. <laughs> It's great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own, my man cave. <laughs> Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure, I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does he just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh, come on. <sighs> Should have done this months ago. Um. Meow. Meow. <laughs> meow. Meow. What do you want? What are you doing down there? I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? <laughs> Uh-oh, you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow, it's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. See you later, dummy. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> well. What did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up! Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget! I know, Fluff. I forgive you. <laughs> we found an awesome phone, Wash! Okay, great! I'll leave it right here for you, Wash! See you later! Eugenie! Susie! Come here, girls! Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? Hey! 
I have to get out of here. <laughs> Sam! Correct! I repeat, Code Red! Nugget and Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah, but we gotta dig. Lucky, lucky. It is you. Are you snooping? Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop. But don't touch anything. We're coming. Washington? No dig. No dig. Bad boy. We've got a digger! Digger, reveal yourself! No! Oh, and my kittens are missing! You've got to find them! Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. Uh, Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget! I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine! <laughs> Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! I just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help! No! First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, Washington. <laughs> OK, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Uh, Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? 
costume is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late. Left you extra kibble. Ouch. Sorry, huh? Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. Uh, to the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam? You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no, how can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside Stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Now, isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry. Those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer. Because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah. They went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> uh, 
So I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Boy, it's a furnace in here! Phew! Life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. <laughs> Say what? Hey. Are you all right in there? <laughs> you seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Can't let them out of our sight. Now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is. Like hide and seek. Catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? <laughs> this time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I can't take any more of this. <laughs> I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, 
we brought the carnival home to you! Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch, I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Benny, he's almost uh, here. You're asking for trouble. Stupid male, stupid sunshine. Come to Papa. <laughs> here. Arr, 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 arr. Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for sure, or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No. no. Oh. Cool. From my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Oh no, it was us! I mean you! Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, cause I got it all worked out. See, this is a good thing. You heard me, a good thing. We replaced the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one, a better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this... I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh, really? Yep, otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie, where do we get some? In his office. <laughs> yeah. Great, point the way. It's at the corner, by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. <sighs> that little adventure should take all day. Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. 
I said normal, like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, on Modi, it'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with. And don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! Hello, Baldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty, this is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Mio! Mio! Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. Come on, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Yeah. Yeah. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. And that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <gasps> of course, in my vet desk. to be sedated right now.
stepping stones. All your wonderful pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Signed, the vet. Yay, Yay Washington! Envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Whoa, look! Yeah. Cheap drink, Bush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Yeah. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all diagnoses all my life. Uh, oh! <laughs> Finally, a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Well, they say, let sleeping dogs lie. And our next dog, a sleeping sheepdog, did just that, as his owner found out when he taped his furry friend before he went to work. <laughs> Hilarious! Hey, we could do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh no, when I left he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on, it must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. <laughs> Hmm, I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm, you might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. <coughs> Here. Perfect! Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds! And not a moment too soon. We're gonna be late. Have a good day, Furbox! That includes you, Washington! Shake a leg, boy! <laughs> Everyone just act perfect! Normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Coast clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. <laughs> Next up, a hamster who paints. If I, I must, must, I must. must. Hey, 
Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What is going on? You've been caught on tape. <laughs> Naked. What? What's gonna happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on, trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete, 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 delete. <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Hmm, that looks comfy. Wash said to focus. Be gone, dirty beast. Uh, I'm trying. Cretinous Cretan! Uh, <laughs> okay, Vic, we're good. Dreaded Phil Taxi! Again, uh, thank you. You're done. OMG! No! Ah! Well, hello. What nice pets you are. Too nice if you ask me. <laughs> did you guys do something naughty? Did you? I bet you did. Well, why don't we see for ourselves, dear? <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, no. How, How did a wild, wild fox get, get in here? here? But wait, look, look. They fought him off. They fought him off. Look at Victoria. <gasps> Our little heroes! But wait, where's Washington? 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 Washington! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Good evening, neighbors! Excuse me, you're probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog! I repeat, a wild fox has our dog! Please help! Get the wild fox! And enjoy your dinner! Thank you! Letting you out of our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. This is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! I think I saw him! Are you sure? 
Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> Too much. The fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. You're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. Oh. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> Washington! It's me! <sighs> Hello, me? Uh Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, <laughs> it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> <laughs> on my own armchair, please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Hey, hurry. He's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And 
thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home! Now there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course. Oh, sweetie, you're the best. Now we can go out and enjoy life. I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right. Nothing is too good for my wife. Oh. Scanning, oh. scanning, scanning. It's incredible! Diagnosis, filthy. You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Craig is home. Oh. Let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico! Let's meet my new friend, Craig. I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look, I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I... Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. Uh, excuse me? I just so happen to be the cleanest person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty. Oh, what? A vacuum? Ah! No! Oh, wow. A vacuum? Uh, and how may I help you? I think she's trying to sing. It's a vac... vac a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. Dirty, Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's the job for a high tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Nice, I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> now he should work like a charm. Um, what? Normal? Oh, yeah. The lights are just decoration. It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Dirty. Dirty. Okay, Craig, I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam, you're gonna get your butt vacuumed up. Come on, get lost, you bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. 
No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Uh... find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> there we go, guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into the house. You make him leave. Okay, look. I have other great plans. Just head out the door. Forget the plan. Dirty, dirty. Sam, remember the plan! Hey, this way! Come on! Sam, we're good! Come on, quick! Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! oh. You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! This is even better than cartoons! <laughs> Yes, there is! Uh, it was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. No, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You got no choice, Wash. Farewell, Dream Home. outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. Huh. Looks like I made a very smart exchange. 
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at that! You holding Vic when she was a little kitten. I was pretty cute. And here's one of you and Vic. Aw, she's having her first piece of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, most of these are just a Vic. We don't have any nice new pictures with all our pets. A family portrait, fantastic. Let's do something simple and cozy. Or we could take a humorous theme photo. A theme photo? Yes, you know, where we all pose like scuba divers or golfers. <laughs> well, that's just the opposite of simple and cozy. Oh, I know. We'll go to the forest and take a wildlife photo. Simple and rustic. The woods it is. We'll bring a picnic. Did she say woods? <laughs> Into the woods? Our old neighborhood? What if somebody we know sees us? They could blow our cover. <laughs> We'd never be able to come back. How come you're laughing, Vic? Didn't you hear? We're going into the woods! <laughs> you guys are such big babies. It's not like you're gonna have to hunt for food. Mrs. L will bring you treats. Relax. It's not that! It's the dirt in your fur! The fleas in your ears! The pine needles in your paws! And the litter box! <laughs> we need just the right spot for the photo. Something with trees in the background. Oh, right here. This is the spot. And the light is perfect. Hurry, everyone. <laughs> Perfectionist. Come on, guys. It's picture time. Okay, the faster we get this over with, the faster we get out of the woods. No pine needles, please. Oh, Vic, you have to at least come out long enough for the family photo. Uh... Come on, don't be so childish. Ah! Oh. Okay, say cheese. Oh, missed it. One more time, guys. Cheese. Nailed it, gorgeous. Yes, except there's a bear in the shot. I know. I just have to start... Keys. Uh -huh. Where are the keys? Oh, no. You left them on the picnic table. <laughs> hey, he's going to eat my picnic. <laughs> Sam, that's not a random bear, that's Mitch, our old neighbor. Ah, yes, I know that food smeared face and bad temper anywhere. What are we gonna do? I've got a plan. <laughs> I knew it, I knew you'd come up with something. For starters, we can't let Mitch see us with our costumes. Too many questions. Eugenie, Susie, you go that way. Distract the elf. Aye, aye, sir. We can't let them see us without our costume. Okay, now wait. Well, that's as far as I got. Okay, I like it. Mm -hmm. Eugenie and Susie, there they are. 
Stay right here, Vic. We'll be right back. Hey, girls! Hey, Mitch! <laughs> Washington, Sam! What are you guys doing here? The whole forest has been looking for you. We, uh, we were snatched. Snatched? Kidnapped by humans. <laughs> and that's where we've been the whole time. That's terrible! We gotta hide you before they try to take you back. No, wait. Uh, Mitch, we... Shh! <laughs> the humans will hear you. Come on! Where are you guys? Okay, let's head back to base camp. The keys! That's it! Hey, but where are they going? Their suits are still here, but they disappeared. Mitch took them with him. What are we going to do? Take the basket. We can use it as bait. I'll take care of the costumes. smell weird. Oh, yeah. They make us wash with this horrible stuff called soap. Mm -hmm. Ew! That's gross! Finally back to the wildlife. <coughs> oh, ow! Yeah. My paws already miss fluffy carpet. Fluffy carpet? What's that? <laughs> oh, ah, oh. Two. Ah, two. <laughs> ah, two. Uh, Gesundheit, you okay? Yeah. Allergies. Too much fresh air. Those dumb humans made you guys soft. You gotta get used to the wildlife again. You probably forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should show us. What's wrong with your eye? Oh, uh, dust. <laughs> Forest dust. Like you said, I'm too soft. Hmm. Well, after all that, I'm hungry. Let's track down some treats, like wild animals. <laughs> Lift that rock. I forgot how weak you two are. <laughs> Go ahead. It's the taste of home. <laughs> Tasty. <sighs> the things I do for this family. <laughs> you guys forgot how to deal with fleas, huh? Ah! Oh, hello, big boy. Now you do me. No, 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 no. It's your turn to deflee me. Yeah, let me make it easy for you. This time, I won't turn around. Yeah. Oh, no, not pine needles. You're gonna have to brush up on your scary attack poles if you want to try to fend off pesky humans. Okay? Attack poles! Ooh. <laughs> Uh, worse than I thought. I'll show you. It came from over there. Let's go. 
Marek. Watch and learn. You'll need this. No! Oh, my second basket of the day. <laughs> Where did Washington and Sam go? <laughs> they went that way? <laughs> Thanks, weird dog. I owe you. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was Washington and Sam. Thank goodness. Wait a minute. They like those humans. They weren't kidnapped. They ran away. <laughs> Everyone say cheese. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. It. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go! Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. 
After my second nap, that is. I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Pet Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. <laughs> That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> Delicious. We love you so much, Sam. Because of you, we're the happiest humans in the whole world. Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever. And once and for all, stay away from that blanket. Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. Look! There it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. <laughs> what? You genie! Susie? What are you doing? Again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft. Can it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. That is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. 
I admit it. You're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash. <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> You're a good dog, Washington. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. <laughs> Dream too. It's mine. I want it. I didn't get to have a real nap. Come on, give it. I know what you were trying to do. You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping. How rude. Some friends you are. I'm just a cute little bird and you wouldn't even share a tiny corner with me. What's gotten into you guys? You are huh? a cute bed hog. That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot. That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills. Guys? I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar. What? How rude! Hey, you! Don't touch that blanket! Come on, sis! Let's show them who we are! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey. This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Move it, fake fox! <laughs> Oh no! The living stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? didn't like it. Uh, oh. You can choose the new one. Okay. And no one will sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. Yeah. Good morning, birdie. Good morning, little bunny rabbit. Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. 
You still gotta do the inside of my ears. <sighs> Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. Thirsty. Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, uh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right. Then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like, like that. <laughs> huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! Yeah? <laughs> arf! Arf! Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 arf. Uh, <laughs> wait! Sam is you? It's an opposite day already? No! Not for another two months! But, yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh, no. Game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. Ha! <laughs> Sam, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. Hmm. Nice game, boy. Uh. Arf, arf, arf. I know what Washington said. He says so many things. True, but it would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash. Now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're gonna have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh uh Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange! <laughs> Weird! Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. Who turned off the light? <laughs> oh, my Washington. Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I'm at the dog park. So this is what it feels like. 
Hey there! Washington? Hey guys, how's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? No, oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the elves to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time! Fetch a ball, go on a walk! Cats don't do that. Well, I do! And I can't go another day cleaning you! Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah! I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is and will want to switch back! Easy! That's your big plan. It's all I got. Here's what I'm gonna do. You guys are on the you're gonna you're gonna find some. That's my wall wall. <laughs> 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 I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best, the best. <laughs> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! Mm -hmm. I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Us cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry! They need you. stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bath in the morning. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everything's gotta be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. Just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. Well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not gonna screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> Now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yuck. Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you. And worst of all, they talk baby talk. I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun. here. Don't you feel silly? <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking. Me. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Toad, I rocked. and their music. Keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. Oh, oh, I know. 
Now you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> you guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly, really, really bad for us. No. <laughs> Don't give in. Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it. Got it? Gotta get back in there like nice normal pets. We can do this. Hey, come in. You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome. Let me take your coat. This is stressing me out. Me too. If that music comes back, we're toast. Did you know our hearing is 10 times better than a human's? You, I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, girls, we're gonna need music for this. just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? And this one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Uh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <sighs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <clears throat> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <clears throat> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. I've got to stop that music. Washington! Bad dog! Bad dog! What's gotten into you? Washington! Oh, 
What's happening in here? Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah! I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? Hmm? No! Come on! Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, honey, should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All <laughs> aboard! <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugene. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works great. Go roll in some mud. <laughs> I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying. Good morning, sunshine. Oh. <laughs> Wait, honey, I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm, the last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm <laughs> leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, that can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. From now on, only one 
pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the bed? First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win. It looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really cool. <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, that's it! Everybody down! Look at them! They're frightened! <laughs> Fine. But just for... Yay! Tonight. This was supposed to be my night, you bunch of fake furs. about a rude awakening. thrown off my human's huh? bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers, I'll show you. <laughs> hmm. Please. <laughs> she forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. Almost like superheroes. An intruder with itching powder? No, it's even worse! Please! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bath. Close them off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Now it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie? Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast? Toast? If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <laughs> code red! We got a code red! Everything all... Uh-huh. Meow? Did I just... Uh... Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. This isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. 
no, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <laughs> a lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. Wait! I have an idea. This will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around you had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Ooh, she's tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here. What a crazy... Hmm? Oh well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. didn't wake up. What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? huh? Shh. I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey guys. <gasps> ah! Whew, that was close. What a beautiful night. Let's sleep on the chairs. <laughs> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. 